along with time along with the progress of time the java has got different versions and different features have got included in the current version compared to the previous one so let us come to this particular map where we shall discuss that how this java has got its different versions and on which month and year so java basically the java development kit was introduced in the year 1996 and the name of the first release was oak and after that it is improved and here is a chart to show you that how the versions came in the market so now we are having the java version 1.0 that is the oak the name of the version is oak then it has got published in the year uh, that is the January 1996 and then in the respective different months and years you can find that what are the different versions so Java 1.2 there is a playground we are having Java 1.3 there is a Kestrel we are having this Java 1.4 and there is a Marlin Java 5 Tiger we are having Java 6 Maxtang we are having Java 7 there is a Dolphin Java 8 and we are having this Java 9 and that the same name we are calling it by Dolphin. So here you can find that how this Java different versions came in the market. Now let us go for some more detailing discussion on this Java features. And Java follows the ORA that is a W O R A that is a run once that is a write once and run anywhere. So W O R A that is a write once and run anywhere. So that is a technique. So that is a write once and run anywhere. So we will write the Java code in one platform and then the code will run in different platforms without having any modifications because Java is having their dedicated runtime environment where this particular code will get run in a platform independent way. So object oriented programming approach and functional programming features are also used in our Java and it can break the problems into different steps and objects. We know that the instance of a class will be known as an object An object will play the main role in our object oriented programming and from the Java version 1.8 we are having the lambda functions and other features of the functional programming. So nowadays Java has got totally equipped to develop different kinds of applications in different domains. Now the Java environment has become faster now optimized Java codes are faster. Uh, compared to the other programming language developed applications like your C and C++. The security features of Java makes it more popular and it can protect the integrity and privacy of data. And that's why the Java does not support the pointer concept and Java supports the reference concept here. In our C, C++ we have the pointer concept. A variable can access a value from the different memory location where the program itself is not there and using the pointer so security uh, are not there in case of security measures are not there in case of C and C++ but the problem has got resolved in our Java coding and this language has large standard library and there are hundreds of classes methods are present and that's why all these methods all these classes are present in this standard library and we can we can easily refer them in our code and our the code writing will be very much easier for us because most of the functions and methods which will be used on the very regular basis are pre-written here. Also we are having different Java frameworks and using those frameworks we can bring different functionalities in our applications developed by Java and that is the main, main topic whatever I was supposed to discuss in our Java versions and features. Thanks for watching this video.